Warning, the following video will contain spoilers of the Flash episode running to a standstill. So spoiler alert, if you don't want anything ruined for you, stop watching now. Alright, for everybody that's still here, hey guys, Dave here. And, uh, well, this was definitely an interesting episode. The first thing it starts off with is Zoom chasing down and getting ready to, to kick the crap out of Harrison Wells from Earth 2. I mean, it's a heck of a fight. I mean, the, the, the chase scene in there, Zoom is just a relentless horror movie monster at this point. Grabbed him up by the throat, and Wells is begging, do whatever you want to me, but let Jesse go. And it becomes a really spooky thing hearing Tony Todd as Zoom saying, Merry Christmas. <laughs> what the hell? So, we have moments where uh, uh, holiday season is coming up. Uh, Jay is playing very fast and loose with the fun of you know, saying that, oh, he doesn't know what uh, Christmas is. You know, while Caitlin's trying to explain all this stuff, he lets, of course, know that he, he does know. And everyone's getting ready for the big holiday parties. They may even have a white Christmas coming up, but that's going to be a big uh, clue that something wrong is about to happen. And poor Iris is starting to break down after keeping a secret that her mother actually had a son that Joe never knew about, Wally. And it's kind of funny, I mean, given the fact that she was all mad at Joe and Barry for keeping the secret about the Flash and everything, it's starting to show on her just how bad it can be. So, but meanwhile, while this is being dealt with, uh, <laughs> we've got uh, you know, a blizzard starting to pop up, and we've got weather wizard Mark Martin busting into Iron Heights, to bust out Captain Cole to pay him back the debt for uh, helping him out with Rogue Air, and to bust out James Jesse the Trickster. The idea? Let's all get in. Let's uh, get together three against one to take on the Flash. The three of us can put him down like that. Of course, Cole's kind of wondering about it. Uh, he's not entirely sure. I mean, he appreciates getting busted out, but is he in? Not quite. In fact, he even goes to the Allen and West household to tell Barry, hey, by the way, these guys are coming after you. They wanted me to join. I declined because there's no real money in it. Barry's doing what he can to call him out on the fact that he actually has a sense of honor, and he may not be a hero, but he's really sucking at being a villain this week. And, you know, this is a setup for Legends of Tomorrow coming up here, but essentially he gets to do his thing and get out of there. Meanwhile, Weather Wizard and Trickster are coming up with a pretty devious plot. Iris is coming forth to Barry to say, hey, look, I, I can't keep this anymore. we got to tell Joe. So eventually we get the big reveal that Joe finds out that he has a son that he never knew about. It's really touching, and uh, it's just kind of sad to see that this poor guy going through it. Fortunately, the worst does not happen. He does not have a heart attack or some bad feeling, that, uh, but not knowing that he, this boy was absent in his life. There's even a touching moment describing about how he knew in his gut and intuition that when Iris' appendix had burst. It shows that there's definitely a human side here, and that's very cool. Meanwhile, we've got... It, I, Mark Hamill, man, he is absolutely freaking rocking as, as the trickster live-action. I mean, we know that he's also the voice of Joker on the animated series, as well, Batman the Animated Series, as well as the Arkham games. And he's been doing it for 20 plus years. He's a master at this. And there's a lot of that playfulness that comes off in, in here too. That sadistic evil bad guy that you just can't help but want to watch. So, eventually, they start to come up with the idea about uh, the uh, weather wand uh, that originally happened in one of the pr previous uh, realities that to try to control the weather with its power. Of course, I, I think of it as a giant sonic screwdriver. Look at it! Doctor Who fans, you know what I'm talking about. This thing's like twice as long, but it has like the little prongy things, like 11. So, <laughs> anyway, they finally get to do take care of that and try to prepare themselves to take on the bad guys. And this time the plan is pretty freaking frightening. When they make their move, it turns out that <laughs> Jesse is given away a hundred different to random toys to various people witnessing on Santa's lamp, lap. And there are bombs all over the place that are set to detonate. When Flash comes out, 
and try to find which also there's also a moment where Patty Spivet, of course, having her big vengeance thing against uh, uh, Mark Martin, whether it was for killing her father, they tracked down, um, down at a uh, toy factory, classic Joker trickster stuff, uh, the, the, almost being killed by dreidels. That was a, that was hysterical. They eventually managed to escape out of there. Barry's trying to help save Patty's soul effectively from not making that big mistake about taking him out. Eventually, though, we get to the big reveal about the bombs. And Weather Wizard says, no, you're just going to sit there and take everything while I, well, while we're killing you. Because if you don't, well, we're going to detonate these bombs at a hundred different families and you don't even know where the, they are, so you can't get to them in time. So it's up to Team Star Labs to try to find these bombs and to come up with some pretty interesting comic booky science to try to figure this out. Now, meanwhile, Barry is getting the crap pummeled out of him, zapped, blasted, shot, <laughs> run over, and he can't do anything because he, he doesn't want these poor kids to get hurt. So he's just got to sit there and take it. It's really sad, but it also shows the, the nobility of a hero. Meanwhile, Harry Wells and the Star Labs team figure out all we got to do is just find one package. They manage to find one, and the idea is if they take it up into one of the closest portals, due to interdimensional physics about how one reality may have like a positive charge and another may have a negative. By using these principles, if basically they're, the, they're effectively the same thing as, uh, all constructed the same way, a product of the portal, if done properly, will actually create an opposite polarity, uh, acting like a giant dimensional magnet, drawing them all to it. Now, it seemed a little Doctor who -y trying to essentially activate something to, try to pull the Daleks and the Cybermen into the void, it's good stuff. If you haven't watched Doctor Who back in the, during the time of David Tennant, it's definitely worth checking out. Anyway, oh, I hope I didn't spoil anything for you. Crap. Anyway, <laughs> what happens is they actually do manage to succeed and create essentially a portal magnet sucking up all the bombs out of <laughs> these kids' houses. And once they're all taken care of, then the Flash says, okay, it's my turn. Molly whops the crap out of them, takes down Trickster, and it definitely uh, hurts the weather wizard, who now is holding his freaking weather wand. And it looks like everything's going to be okay. But here comes Patty Spivet. She's got the boot that Cisco has created. What does she do? Fires it at the Flash's leg. It anchors down so he can't run or move fast enough to stop him. And she's pulling out the gun. She's getting ready to cap that ass. And... It's very touching because we understand his, her emotions. She, uh, sh she's ready to commit murder. She's ready to give up everything. But in a very touching thing, the Flash lets her know that this is her choice, but she could ruin her entire life by everything that's going to happen right here and now. There's a lot of drama there, and eventually Patty makes the right choice and arrests him instead. So that was cool. Eventually, though, we start to get the wrap-up here. Uh, we got the West Allen Christmas party. Jay's there, getting a little smoochy-smooch with uh, uh, Caitlin under the mistletoe. Oh, Teddy Sears, I envy you. Anyway, <laughs> and we even get a surprise guest. We finally get the appearance of Wally West on the series. So, congratulations, new cast member. But the epilogue part, it turns out that during this part... Wells is also trying to contact, uh, was contacted by Zoom before, so they're working together. He said, no, give me one more day, one more day. Eventually it's Christmas Day, and Wells and Zoom meet at an abandoned location, and he's begging of trying to, you know, to free his daughter. Zoom, the dick move that he is, frees Jesse, puts him in an arm for a few seconds. Wells is trying to convince him, no, no, you're going to be safe, you're going to be safe. I'm not going to let him take you again can't do anything. Zoom takes her, stops, and imprisons her again, then comes right back. Wells figures out that everything he's doing is trying to make the Flash faster. Because the faster he is, the faster Zoom will be when he vampirically siphons the speed right out of him. So, it looks like he has to help him to help Barry to become faster so he can ultimately be defeated. Now, that's where it ends for the mid-season finale. Now, after what happened with Supergirl, I just made a cool little Supergirl video, too. You might want to check that out. Uh, I 
got to admit, last year's mid-season finale, we got to finally peek and see that uh, the original uh, Harrison Wells, a.k.a. Eobard Thawne, was in fact the Reverse Flash. And we got to see that. And with a lot of people speculating who is Zoom, I was expecting a reveal to see who the heck Zoom was under that mask. We did not get that, and admittedly, it was a good episode, and after last week's crossover episodes, I was really excited for those, and I was looking more forward to something more coming out of this episode of The Flash. So it kind of left me disappointed a bit. Now, yes, we got to have Mark Hamill, we got to have bad guys and stuff, but did we get to find out who Zoom was? No, we got another secret, but not the big reveal about who, who, who Zoom might be. So I was a bit disappointed in that, so it might just be me. I'm also going through some very bad financial crap right now, and given the fact that uh, I'm not sure about my status about my home, my finances, my savings, and how much debt I've been racking up just to survive, I don't know how much more I'm going to be able to keep doing these videos. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to watch Legends of Tomorrow or the, anything coming back after the first of the year because I don't know where I'm going to be or if I can even pay for it. Um, so I'll be the first to admit my thoughts could be a little tainted here. I'm thinking about maybe setting up a GoFundMe page for anyone that might wants to uh, help me out a little bit. I mean, I'm hurting, guys. I really am. And I'm not the kind of person that wants to beg. I don't like doing that. I've tried before. And people have helped me out in the past. And I am very grateful and thankful for that. Um, but I need something. Uh, watching shows like The Flash, Arrow, Supergirl, it's helping me to take my mind off of things. It's something I love. I love interacting with the fans. And it's been a good escape. You know, I remember seeing a meme. It says, uh, uh, we watch fantasy, or we enjoy fantasy, not to escape from reality, but to endure it. And I've been trying to do that. But I digress. Hopefully something will turn around. I want to still keep making videos with you guys. I want to be able to interact. I want to be able to enjoy things. I just don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. Uh, this year has been really rough. This Christmas is going to be really rough. But... Uh, I've got a couple more videos still on the line, so I'm going to do something here. Uh, I've also got a giveaway for uh, a couple of my, uh, my, uh, my book, the Biospirit, Book of Biospiritual Yum Yum Goodness, and a, uh, e a short story horror movie, uh, or horror story I did, uh, The Stand Before the Storm. That's going to be going on uh, as a giveaway on the week of Christmas, so keep an eye out for that. I'll make a video letting you guys know about that. But uh, appreciate what you got, guys. Appreciate who you have. And uh, make the most of it. And you don't have to have powers to be a hero to help somebody out and do something good. So, I digress. Sorry, I, emotional hypersensitive here. I can't help it. Anyway, what did you guys think of the episode, The Flash, is, uh, you know, episode uh, running to a standstill? Please, like, comment, subscribe, share, pass this around among your friends, tell people what you think, and... Uh, I want to thank everybody for checking out my uh, videos recently. That uh, uh, the, I want to thank the Arrowverse for putting my theory videos up on there. I want to thank the people that have been checking out my Supergirl video after checking out my theory about who Hank Henshaw might be. I want to thank everybody for checking it out, and I, I appreciate all of you. So, until next time, Dave signing off. Peace. Yum, yum.